Welcome. My name is Cassie. I hope you're having a good day or had a good day wherever you may be in this world. Today I am testing out a new setting powder. Not a new setting powder, but just a setting powder and it is the Pretty Vulgar The Powder Room 147 Matte About It Translucent Setting Powder. I did receive this in a BoxyCharm and if you don't know what these videos are about, it's probably because you're new to my channel and last time I filmed one of these was in March but I definitely want to get back into it because I have a ton of powders that if they are giving me flashback and I have to worry about when I can and can't use it um, then I just want to flat out get rid of it so I'm definitely going to continue these videos and so I pretty much put to the test I show you how I apply the powder, how much I apply, where I apply it, and what tools I use. And then I take a flash photo with my phone pretty up close and show you that photo. And I do show you if it has flashback and if I'm going to keep it, if I'm going to give it away, if I'm going to throw it away, how I feel about the powder. And yeah, if you have been wondering, is this powder flashback? Does it have flashback? Is it not going to give me flashback? I'm here to answer your questions if you keep watching the video. Just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because it is free and we all love free things. It's not going to hurt you to hit that subscribe button. And also, I upload twice a week, once on Wednesdays and once on Sundays. Without getting too rambly, we will get into the video. So I have the rest of my face makeup on. If it looks like I have the same clothing on in the last three videos, it's because I'm filming like four videos today in one, but it's totally okay because I'm behind on filming, so I'm just trying to make it all fit together pretty much. So I haven't filmed one of these in forever, like literally forever. I think the last one was, I don't know, let me see. Let me see how long ago. In March. I hope you're having a good day. So the last time I fil filmed a video like this was in March. So I am going to go ahead and do this pretty much the same exact way that I would if I was off camera. Um, the powder, using the Pretty Vulgar powder, obviously, you know, the translucent one. And I usually just put some in the cap. And then I will bang it out so that way it's kind of not in a pile. It's just kind of spread out completely. And then I'm going to take my Jeffree Star and Morphe sponge and I make sure that my under eyes are seamless and that there's not any concealer settling into my lines because you don't want to set the concealer when it's settling into the lines. Basically, I test the flashback on this. So I do go ahead and I put some on there. At first it looks like a lot, but I do pat it out the first time around and I put it everywhere including on top of my lid. And then I take a little bit more and I put some more on there and pack it out just so that way I know that's setting. And this has been working for me for the last few weeks. This is the way that I have been setting my powder, setting, well, setting my under eyes, setting my face because that's what's been working for me. And then once I go ahead and put powder on the rest of my face, I'll kind of wipe it away and today I am testing out this new brush it is the Zoeva Petite Face Finish Brush and I'm going to put that into the powder and kind of this is barely even picking anything up all right so I'm not going to use that brush because it clearly sucks I'm going to use the brush that I have been using and it's the Aesthetica P12 brush and I'm going to go ahead and I dip that into the cap and kind of tap it off and then go like this and then I kind of just pat that on my skin just so that way I know I'm like packing it on and then go faster and then I swipe and I also swipe under my chin like this so that way if if I have a line of demarcation hopefully it goes away and the same and I go ahead and rub it out so that way any extra product any extra powder is off and then I kind of touch the sides of my face to make sure it's not tacky because if it's tacky, your bronzer, your blush, your hot, not really your highlighter, but especially your contour, your bronzer, and your blush are kind of going to go on like a little bit like not muddy, but it's going to skip and it's going to look very, very patchy. Then I go through my under eye and I swipe that away, make sure it's blended. And then here, 
is the true test. Is the powder flashback proof? Does it give flashback? Are you gonna look like a ghost when you take a photo in this? So here is the photo that does not look the greatest, but I think that it is flashback proof. I think that when you are under flash photography, I don't think you're gonna be looking like a ghost, which I have worn this before and been under flash photography and I'm not getting flashback. And this is one of my favorite powders. So if you're one of those who goes out to dinner a lot with friends and you take flash photos, you do photography, you do makeup for people um, who are gonna have their photos done or weddings and something like that, this powder is great. It has no smell. It is really, really smooth. It's not smoothing, but it's smooth and it goes on fairly nicely and it just shows you that you will not get a white cast nor will you get flashback, which is pretty much the same thing. So yes, I will continue to use this and this is gonna stay in my powder routine and I thought for sure that I was going to end up throwing this away. The MAC one, I ended up throwing away. I didn't throw it away, I gave it to my little sisters because it's not flashback proof and I don't need to be looking like a ghost in my photos because people are gonna be like, girl, you work at Ulta, you do people's makeup, you do your own makeup, you're supposed to be really good, you do YouTube and you're looking like this? No. So yeah, I, I'm i glad that this passed the test because I'll be keeping it and I've been using it every day so I can now know that I can recommend it to somebody and know that it's not going to ruin their face or ruin their photos and they won't be embarrassed. Um, yeah, and I, I do now put on a little bit more powder than I normally do just because I'm able to set my face really well. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you learned a little something something. And if you are on the skeptical side of purchasing the Pretty Vulgar powder, then you that should be out the window and you should be flying to your cart right now and going to put this in your cart because it's pretty good. And yeah, I really like it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Girl, you got it, girl. Uh -huh. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Ooh. I don't wanna play no games, play no games. Fuck around, give my last name.